Congratulations, you bought your first 22 lr rifle, and somebody told you, hey, you need to break in that barrel, and they gave you some extraordinarily difficult process that requires all sorts of steps and cleaning multiple times, blah, blah, blah. Chances are, you don't even need to break in that barrel. Believe it or not, in 22 lr that's a question you can ask. And more importantly, if you do break in the barrel, I'm going to show you an insanely simple technique that is so incredibly cool that not only will you so easily break in the barrel, you will also do the black belt concept of lapping the barrel at the same time. And all of that insanely easy stuff is coming up next on Mostly 22 LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I want to give a big shout out to the 45 Long Colt community. There's a lot of old timers out there who have remembered some of the old techniques that they used to do to break in and lap their barrels. And this probably was in the 22 LR arena for a while as well, but it kind of got lost in the mists of time. It's time to bring it back out of the mists and give it back to the 45 Long Colt users who may not know it, and to make sure that the 22 Long Rifle users, particularly you, are capable of using this if you need it. So again, to the 45 Long Colt old timers, thank you very much for this technique that we're basically stealing from you. Okay, so you've bought your 22 Long Rifle, you've heard that you have to break in the barrel and yet there are some people particularly in the rimfire community who tell you that you don't have to break in the barrel who's right the answer is is the rimfire guys are right those who tell you you really don't have to break in the barrel you can just clean the barrel and begin shooting they're right but if you want you can steal a trick from the 45 long colt users and you can do a proper barrel break in and you can lap the barrel at the same time and all of that is available to you and it's insanely simple to do. The question is, do you want to do it? Now I'm going to pick up a rifle here that's already been cleared. If you are going to just simply shoot this rifle, all you need to do is get a boar snake. Let's put a photo up of what a boar snake looks like when you buy it from off the shelf. Okay, so you've got a boar snake, or maybe you bought a cleaning kit because the guy behind the counter told you you really should get a cleaning kit. Doesn't matter. Run a dry patch through this boar, or run your boar snake through this boar, and you're done. That's it. You don't need a break-in period for 22LR in nearly all cases. And I'm serious, in nearly all cases, you don't need a break-in period. This rifle, which is in my personal collection, is not going to get a proper... I'm just not going to break in this barrel. I could if I wanted to, but I'm just not going to. It's just not worth my effort. But what we are going to do is we're going to talk about how to break in this barrel so that you could very quickly, very easily, and insanely simply break in this barrel and lap the barrel at the same time if you want to. Okay, so let's ask ourselves a couple of questions to make the decision if we really are even going to go through this process. Number one. Do you want to use this rifle with a scope? Now you'll notice here this rifle does not have a scope. It's iron sights. There's no benefit to be gained from me by, by breaking in this barrel because I'm not going to gain any real accuracy that I can use on iron sights. Or maybe you've decided that you're going to shoot game at distances beyond 50 yards. If you're going to shoot small game at those kind of distances, then yeah, you probably do want to use this technique. It's insanely simple why not go through it to get that little bit extra of accuracy? And certainly, if you're going to be shooting targets, if you're looking for accuracy at target shooting at 50 yards and beyond, then go ahead and do it. It's insanely simple. You're going to have a great fun time doing it. Those are the questions that you need to ask. So now you've made your decision whether or not you're going to lap the barrel and break the barrel in at the same time. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. So in order for us to use this insanely simple trick, which we're stealing from the 45 Long Colt community, we just need two things besides the rifle itself. Number one, we need that boar snake so that we can clean the barrel a grand total of three times. Or, if you've got a cleaning kit already, we're just going to run a dry patch through three times. That's the grand total. And we need 300 rounds of a very specific type of ammunition. And here it is. 
It's an all lead bullet. That's the key. This is why 45 long colt owners can shoot their long colts and lap the barrel and break the barrel in so easily. And it's the reason that we can do it too. It's because we normally shoot all lead bullets. Now, this is not a copper jacketed bullet. It is not a copper washed bullet. It is not an all copper bullet. It's, there's no brass in the bullet. There's nothing like that. It's just a lead bullet. You'll find that there will be some paraffin wax on here. That's to improve lubricity as it goes down the barrel, and that's fine. Or maybe your, your bullet has a tallow coating on it, again, to improve lubricity as it goes down the barrel. That's fine, but the bullet itself must be all lead. It can be a lead round nose, like this one, or it could be a lead hollow point, or it could be a lead flat nose. It doesn't matter. The key is that it is an all lead bullet. And you need 300 rounds of it for this trick. Now, you can buy six boxes of 50 all lead bullets. You can buy three sleeves of 100 all lead bullets. Or you can buy a brick of all lead bullets. Doesn't matter. As long as you've got 300 rounds, that's what you need. Now, the important thing about this ammunition is that this ammunition must travel at a rate between 1,000 and 1,100 feet per second. That's crucial. You can't buy a Gila's Colibri or Super Colibri ammo because that travels too slow. You can't buy CCI's Quiet 22 ammo because that travels too slow. Your lead bullet must be traveling anywhere in the range of 1,000 to 1,100 feet per second. When you've got that, 300 rounds of it, we can begin. And so here it is, the insanely simple method to break in a 22 lr barrel and lap the barrel using 300 rounds of lead ammunition traveling 1,000 to 1,100 feet per second and a bore snake or a cleaning rod with a dry patch. Here's what we do. We're going to run our bore snake or cleaning rod through here one time and then we're going to shoot 100 rounds of that ammunition. And then we're going to repeat that process two more times. That's it, you're done. <laughs> it's literally that insanely simple. And just to make it even more insanely simple, you don't even have to clean this barrel after the 300th round. Just put in 301 and start shooting. Use any ammunition you want. Copper coated, copper jacketed, copper washed, lead, doesn't matter. High speed, slow speed, super slow speed, hyper velocity, doesn't matter. Start shooting. Your barrel has been broken in and your barrel has been lapped. You've got the accuracy you want. The barrel is mature. You are ready to start firing after that 300th round. You don't even need to clean it. So, what have we learned today? Well, we've learned about an old-timey trick in the 45 Long Colt world that we can apply to 22 LR using just the right ammunition and just running a bore snake through our barrel three times. We can break in a barrel and we can lap a barrel, and it's insanely simple. Now, I want to make sure that you understand that the reason that we can do this is because we're shooting all lead ammunition at a range of 1,000 to 1,100 feet per second. A lot of today's bullets do not fly at those rates, and they're copper coated or copper jacketed or copper washed or something like that. They're copper, copper, copper. They don't do what we want them to do. 22 LR and 45 Long Colt are unique in that respect because you can find lots of lead ammunition to make this happen. I'm Rob Rosenberg for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such. Oh. It is insanely hot out here. The wind is barely moving. The cicadas are screaming up a storm like the little banshees they are, and we keep getting these clouds that tell us that there's going to be rain. And yet, the things I do for you people. <clears throat> All right. Three, two, one. So what is this insanely simple process?